For years, Tom worked for a reputable local company. The job was good, steady, reliable. But Tom and his son had a chance to make a difference in their hometown, and they took it. Here's Andy Lynch with our first story of how God is using everyday, ordinary people to do extraordinary things. You know, we face challenges here every day, and there are things that, that don't go according to plan or um, not the way that we'd like them to be. And my emphasis lately has been on uh, giving thanks in all things and rejoicing in everything and praying without ceasing from 1 Thessalonians 5. And, and that's um, a challenge. You know, when these flies are buzzing around and, and or somebody calls in 13 minutes before their shift starts and you're thinking your natural reaction is not praise God or uh, giving thanks and yet that's what we're committing. Tom Birch and his son Matt purchased the Rockford carryout July the 1st, 2016. We had an opportunity here where we were raised to uh, buy a business and to contribute back to the community in ways that we weren't able to do previous to that. And both of us were really excited about that opportunity. The father-son team started renovating the building, adding to the menu, and finding ways to be invested in the community of Rockford. Both of us were really excited about that opportunity to be able to get plugged back into Rockford to do things with uh, the school, with the local businesses, and with the people of the community. The Rockford Carryout is a restaurant, a drive through a catering company, and a community cheerleader. But it's also a place of encouragement, hope, and inspiration. Both Tom and Matt believe that for them, this is more than just a daily job. What we're, we're called to do, we understand that uh, paying it forward is important and that we've benefited a lot from this community, the schools, and so for us to be able to, to give back in whatever way we can, um, not just to the community, but to the people and to people in general. That's, that's our mission um, as far as um, why we do it. And I think that's important because I always ask myself, what is your why? I mean, why are you doing what you do? And, and I think often we don't stop and, and analyze that, but why do we do it? And that's to give back, um, to, to try and run the operation with our employees. Um, people say we do it by the book. Well, the book is the Bible for us. Doing it by the book, the Bible. Every day Tom goes to work, he likely supervises many pizzas and other great food items being made. He provides work opportunities as well for local high school students. He looks for additional opportunities to connect with Rockford's downtown, the schools, and all the area businesses. But there's even more. There's a higher purpose. There's a reason for this daily existence, and it all comes back to Jesus. He, he didn't save us just for eternal life, but in order to live transformed lives here on this earth. And we have to, to be different, and we have to um, follow those the commands and the encouragement that we're given in Scripture to, to be transformed. And uh, we have that opportunity regardless of, of what occupation that we're dealing with. For Tom and Matt Birch, their occupation is food, and they believe they can use the food industry, specifically their restaurant, to be a witness for others. One of the ways that we've done that is um, through the sign out front where it's, it's a great day to have a great day. And people will say, why, why is that? You can turn about any discussion you want into one of a spiritual nature um, by planting the seeds. And so as a missionary, I think whatever our occupation is, we have those opportunities. And if we seek those out and, and we, we are open in our spirit to those opportunities that they'll present themselves. And so there's everybody that we come into contact with, whether it's our employees or our customers, is dealing with something. And generally we have no idea uh, what it is that they're struggling or dealing with. But if we're open and we take time to, to listen and our spirit's open to that, then uh, it'll be revealed and we'll have that opportunity to share, not just love, but uh, ultimately share Christ. And that's why we're here.